Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with NewPortraitBiz.com. And what I want to do today is show you how you can use overlays to add certain effects or different effects, different colors, different uh, textures to your images, giving them a whole new mood. And uh, this particular image right here is the one I'm going to be showing you how this, uh, this particular overlay works. This is one of ours that we just created out of one of our sets for our Digital Creations Club. But I just wanted to show you how to actually apply these and some of the different settings that you can use. So I've already opened this, but let me just go ahead and again go right back to basics. If we go File, Open, I'm going to choose the one that I want to overlay. So I'm going to pick Overlay 14. And then from here what I'm going to want to do is separate this from the nesting and I'm just going to drag this over top of the image. Okay, so now I center it. The next thing I want to do is go to my layer styles, go to where it says normal, and I'm going to go down to soft light. And now already you can see a drastic difference just from adding that. Now if I zoom in on that, you can also see that it added some texture that the overlay had into it. I mean, back here of the scoreboard, you can see, let me scroll over, right in here you can see we've got some, some texture. The uniform itself has even got some different color to it. See, it's made it more warm. Uh, and then over here, if we go over a little bit further, you can see we've got some scratches kind of things going on, making it look a little bit more vintage. Now, there's a few things that I want to point out. Sometimes the effect goes over top of the face or certain areas that you want to erase. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. The first way I want to show you is just by using the eraser tool. Just go to the eraser, make sure that that layer, your overlay is selected. Make sure that your opacity is, I like to start with like around 75-ish, uh, 74 we'll go with. And then just lightly go over top of the face. Now, if you think it took too much away, just go back and then just bring your opacity down and try 50% or somewhere in there. And that kind of looks good there. So that works, all right? So that's how you do that. Now, if you wanted to use a layer mask, you would just go down here, make sure that you're on your overlay again, and then just make sure that you have black selected for your paintbrush, okay? And let me make sure that my size is down. And then from there, you're just gonna go over top of that and then that's going to go ahead and show whatever's underneath. Now I've got the opacity at 36. Let's let's make it look a little bit more drastic. If I go over here, you can see I'm I'm allowing the uh, the old uniform to come through, the skin tone and all that stuff. Okay, and you can see it happening right up here. Um, I didn't use that method in this case because I thought that it only it only needed a little bit of uh, toning down. So then I just used the eraser tool and that was it. But I just wanted to show you this quick example of how you use the overlays, whether there are overlays or anyone else's. Now you can play around with this here where it's soft light. I've found that this is the best one for these overlays. If you go to overlay itself, it just looks a little bit more warm and a little bit, it gives it a little bit more of the actual uh, overlay, if you will, showing through. Now again, doesn't look bad. It, it gives it a little bit of a glow. You know, it's a whole nother look. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the look you're looking for. So if you want a subtle uh, effect, but still adding the effect, go with the soft light, and you can always tone that down with the opacity. Now, again, if I go back to the overlay, I can do the same, though. I can adjust this down if I want, and I can maybe get a little bit more of that redder tone uh, coming through there. Now, again, this is just one overlay. I'll do other videos in the future showing you other things that we can do with the overlays, and I'll even shoot a video showing you how to create your own uh, overlay from scratch. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you how to use this, whether you're in our club and you've seen these and you've purchased them, uh, or if uh, you're just on YouTube and you found us for the first time and you want to know how to use overlays and uh, maybe you didn't even know about overlays. Um, but that's how they work and that's how you, you use them. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Once again, I'm Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and I'll talk to you later.